Hey everyone and welcome to another video. In this one I'll cover how to make a simple ragdoll which is the easiest way to simulate death for your characters. Of course you can use death animations for your characters but they are a little harder to set up compared to making a simple ragdoll. So let's dive right in and see how it's done. Here I have a third person character and I'm going to set it up for my default character in Arial. Let's navigate to the mannequin rigs in the content browser by hitting this magnifier icon. Here as you can see I have the physics asset. Let's open it up and here you can see the shapes around our character which make the collisions possible. You can adjust them as you like and then here you can hit simulate to see how it looks in game when the ragdoll is triggered. We don't need to do anything here, I just wanted to showcase the physics asset to give you an idea how the ragdoll works when we add it to the third person character. Assigning it to our character is a very simple and straightforward process. Just open up the third person character blueprint and here by adding a couple of nodes we are able to make it work on our character. First we need a simulate physics function with the mesh as its target. Then we need an event to trigger it, so let's use a key on the keyboard. Just type keyboard, choose a key and then here you can select any key you like. Let's go with E and now here check simulate and then compile. Now when I hit E in the game you can see that the physics are simulated but it's not looking exactly as we wanted and we need to make another change in the settings to make it work properly. Go back to the blueprint and here select the mesh. Then in the collision section we want to set the collision presets on ragdoll and now we are ready to go. Compile and play the game and now you can see that it's working perfectly. You can see that after she drops I still can move around the scene which is weird so here in the blueprint add a disable input node and then for the player controller add a get player controller node. Now you can see that after she dies I cannot give input anymore and therefore I cannot move around the scene. There are other ways to trigger the simulate physics function as well and you can use it in different ways. For example here I have made a blueprint which consists of two columns and a box collision in between. I want to activate the simulate physics function when my character wants to pass this gate. In the gate blueprint, right click on the box collision and hit on component begin overlap. Then cast to third person character so we can talk to it and connect the other actor pin to the object input. Then here in the third person character blueprint we want to make a custom event and then call it from the gate blueprint. So let's right click add a custom event and name it die. Then connect it to the simulated physics and hit compile. Now here in the gate blueprint drag a wire and type die and here you can find it. Connect this pin here to the target and now we are ready to go. As we can see when we hit the box collision in the gate blueprint, the set simulate physics function will be called and our character drops like this. The E key works as well and you can use it in different scenarios based on your project. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.